London is the smallest city in England. That's right. The mega city that most of us know as London is actually called Greater London. Whilst the city of London itself is a small portion of this sprawling metropolis. It has a population of only 9,123 people, making it the smallest in England. London is technically a forest. It's hard to grasp how green London is unless you visit it, but the amount of greenery and green space you can enjoy in London is enormous. So much so, in fact, that the density of trees it has per square mile qualifies it as a forest as per the United Nations definition. Over half of the London underground runs above ground. So really it should be called the overground, except we already have an overground. Ah well, I think I'll stick to calling it the tube. Big Ben isn't actually called Big Ben. Tourists from all over the world come to stand on Westminster Bridge and take a selfie next to Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament. Unfortunately, not one of them ever leaves with a picture of it. This world-famous landmark is actually named the Elizabeth Tower. Big Ben is the name of the bell that lives inside. So you won't snap a photo of Big Ben, but if you're lucky, you might get to hear it. Rainy London isn't very rainy. The capital is known worldwide for being a rainy city, except for the fact that it's not true at all. London actually sees less rain than Rome, Miami and Sydney, both in terms of volume and number of rainy days. Most Londoners don't live in London. Walk the streets of London and most of the people around you probably won't be true Londoners. The resident population of the city of Greater London is just over 8.5 million people. However, the city gets over 16 million visitors every year. A staggering number. London has more Indian restaurants than Mumbai. Even though technically every restaurant in Mumbai is an Indian restaurant, London has so many excellent eateries that it far outweighs its culinary rival. If you want a great curry, you're better off going to London over India. London traffic hasn't improved in 100 years. If that is, you're going by speed of movement across the city. Vehicles driving through the city centre average a top speed of 7.4 miles an hour, about the same speed as a horse and cab. Next time you head out on a trip to the London Eye, we suggest you walk it. You can drive on the right side of the road in London, which is normally the wrong side of the road. Everybody knows that English people drive on the left-hand side of the road. However, there is one street in the UK where visitors can get back to their routes. Savoy Court is a road just off the Strand on which drivers are required by law to drive on the right-hand side of the road.